Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Minnesota Twins game review. A big win for the Minnesota Twins over the New York Yankees. 8 to 6. It wasn't pretty, but man, we got a triple play, five home runs, and a couple of big outs late in the game. A huge win right there for the Twins. Of course, Cleveland won. That kind of stinks. The lead is still three games, but a big win over the Yankees and we got to get at least one more here but that is huge so we're gonna break it down of course everything that happened in this game all the home runs the triple play that happened uh so let's just start with the pitching because realistically this was good but also a little bit scary like I'm not gonna lie it was a little bit scary you know we got out hit 13 to 8 they made an error but we found a way to win of course that's all that matters you want to go through the checklist right boom we scored first boom we scored more than six runs we allowed them to score six runs i guess that's another thing you could add to the checklist of course allowing your opponents to score six runs is not always a great thing but we didn't need to out hit them we did we just need to find a way to win of course the home runs helped i mean that's what we do right we put the ball in play we got some good swings on Sabathia, who does not throw like he used to. That's a big, big win and a good way to jump out in front of him. So what you might have thought was a pitcher's duel. These guys are really good at pitching. Perez, Sabathia, they've been good this season. You know what? It wasn't really a pitcher's duel. It was four innings for both guys. Perez gave up seven hits. Sabathia gave up six hits. Uh, Perez gave up five earned runs. Sabathia gave up six earned runs. And then four walks, four strikeouts. For Perez again not his cleanest night but let's go through the first inning because that's where things got very dicey already like this was right out of the gate and it was a little bit scary top of the first inning we've talked about how many walks have affected Perez this season he walks LeMahieu on four pitches and he walks Aaron Judge on uh well a, not a, yeah it was a full count so there you go lead off walks those have always bit him in the butt this season. Of course, we got out of it. Edwin Encarnacion over to a rise who looks so comfortable at third base. Honestly, let's keep Sano at first base. I know that Crone was just hurt and put on the DL. I don't think that really bothers us. I like a rise at third base. Probably, I think he looks very, very comfortable out there. I think Sano is good at first base. Let's keep it that way. But started to him, goes to scope at second, a quick turn over to Sano at first base. That is the first triple play at target field in its history, in its 10 years. That is the first triple play at target field. It's the 13th triple play in Twins history. The last one came, um, ah, shoot, I can't remember the date. Uh, it was in June um, in 2017. So there you go. That just tells you how obviously rare a triple play is, but that was huge. That got us out of the first inning. And then in the bottom of the first inning, they go back to back with Polanco and Cruz. Cruz hit his 20th home run. Let's see if I can find this really quickly. I took a picture of it because this is definitely worth noting if I can pull it up. But Polanco has 14 home runs. Cruz has 20. And he is 39 years old. That is the 43rd player in baseball history with 20 homers at an age of 38 or later. And I think he did it last year too, right? With 38, 34 home runs. So there you go. That's a player that we definitely needed to pick up. Of course, I don't, I'm not extremely, you know, fond, I guess, uh, is if, if that's the word of, you know, his play style. I'm not just a strict power hitter. That's why I've had problems with Sano. But you know what? He did his job. He's done his job very well. He hit his 20th home run. That got us out two to nothing. Of course, we gave him back a couple of runs in the third inning, but in the bottom of the third, we responded. They got a couple of runs, like I said, in the top of the inning, but a rise walks on four pitches. I love the guy. He's so good. Mitch Garver singles, Polanco singles, bases loaded, nobody out. And of course, I think all of us wanted to see another home run by Nelson Cruz, this time a grand slam, but a catcher's interference puts him on first base. We've seen that before. I think with the bases loaded, if I'm not mistaken, I'm sure one of you guys can let me know, but wasn't it bases loaded? A, was it Andrianza who had catcher's interference and scored a run? Anyways, we took the lead three to two, force out and another force out by uh, 
Sano and Rosario uh, did allow for two more runs to score, though. It was 5-2 to two after three innings, and I got to give credit to Miguel Sano. He put the ball in play, and he was able to beat out a hit. That is the Sano I want to see out on the field in the batter's box. He did what he needed to, and that's why we scored that fifth run. It was important. Again, at the time, maybe not so much, but it was important, and that was big to have him hustle that one out. In the fourth inning, we also scored a couple more runs. This time, Max Kepler led off the inning with a home run, his 25th of the season. I think this guy is going to hit 35. I really do. He's easily got 10 more in, what, 63 games left. This was game number 99. I think he could easily hit 35. I think Cruz is going to get up there as well. Uh, but he got a home run, and then later in the inning, a wall scraper, number 18, for Mitch Garver. Mitch Garver went deep twice tonight, including, like I said, one here in the bottom of the fourth inning, and then the nail in the coffin in the bottom of the sixth when he hit another home run. This one a little bit better. The first one, 89 miles an hour, like I said, a wall scraper. It bounced off the top of the wall and got over the fence. This one clearly into the second deck. Uh, or off the second decks facing his number 19 number 19 home runs on the season um, and scope almost had one too i mean that was inches foul that would have been huge to have him have a home run and well but that's a big couple of home runs the the only unfortunate part about us hitting those five home runs they were all solo shots right they were because polanco yeah they were all solo shots because polanco and cruz went back to back made it two to nothing then it was uh home run from Kepler and two from Garver all solo shots so again that is the only problem I could see us having is because you know we're not getting these guys around when they get on base but when we do hit home runs that I mean that's when nobody's gonna say you shouldn't hit home runs right so when we hit home runs we need to take them uh, but you know what we were only one for four in with runners in scoring position. That's very good. We only left four on base. They were two for 12 with eight men on base. Again, that just tells you how good our pitching staff was. So like I said, Perez, yes, he had some trouble. He did give off those leadoff walks. He was a little bit better throughout the next three innings. But you know what? Again, three home runs. The long ball bit him tonight, but he did good. He did what he needed to do. Of course, he could have done better, but he did what he needed to do. Duffy good inning for him he did walk a guy but struck a guy out then Thorpe Lewis Thorpe with his first major league win good job for him he looks so good he is going to be a, a a very much contender uh for us moving forward because you know Gibson Odorizzi and Pineda are all free agents after this year I think we'll sign Odorizzi and Gibson back I don't know about Pineda just because of his age and his his injury this past season obviously we'd love to help uh, or have him help us get to the world series in the playoffs but thorpe is going to be a guy who's going to step right in if we don't use him in the bullpen he pitched two and two thirds innings tonight gave up four hits but only one run struck out two big strikeouts harper did good in his one out of work and then rogers a little bit scary there in the ninth inning not gonna lie gave up two hits i don't know why we keep shifting edwin encarnacion every single time he comes to the plate or at least against minnesota one time he puts the ball over between the gap between first and second i don't know why we keep on shifting him every single time it bites us in the butt I, and both of those were weak contact hits uh or that's not true um, both of them were shifted hits. One of you hit right through the middle of the shift between second base and shortstop. Of course, Polanco playing over in the hole was Aaron Judge. But uh, then the weak contact should have been a double play to end it. Doesn't matter. Rodgers got out of it uh, and got his 15th save. His, he, he, it's a great bounce back after the, the blow up on Saturday. Of course, it wasn't the cleanest, but, you know, he got the win. That's or he got the save. That's what matters. Uh, but overall, a very good job. Let's talk about the guys tonight. The box score three for four is Garver again. Two RBIs, two or three runs rather on two home runs. Polanco had a home run of his own. Two for three with an RBI and two runs. And Cruz, the first three guys all had a home run. One for three with two RBIs and a run. Rosario one for four with an RBI. Of course, the ground out is what got him his RBI. Sano went 0 for 4, but did get the RBI. And again, he hustled. It was a great effort. That's what he needed to do by putting the ball in play. Good job for Sano. 0 for 4 for Gonzalez, who arguably had one of the worst nights. Uh, didn't really do anything productive, but uh, 
you know what? Sometimes it's fine because you've got Kepler batting right behind him who hit the 25th home run. Uh, one walk as well, one RBI, one run. Then Scope almost hit the home run uh, but was involved with the double play and the triple plays that were, were really good for us. Uh, 0 for 4, though, with three strikeouts. Again, probably had one of the tougher nights, but uh, he did fine. And then Arise, 0 for 3, but he did score a run on his walk, which is, of course, very big. And you know what? He turned incredible plays in the field. Love the guy at third base. I think he is probably a better third baseman than he is second baseman. I know that's even better because, you know, we have like Royce Lewis or, you know, Nick Gordon who could come up and replace somebody if we wanted to get rid of Scope. I don't think we're gonna, but that's a topic for a different video. It's just, you know, he's been hurt. He hasn't been great, but uh, definitely we have options. That's what's, that's what's good about putting a rise at third base and Snow at first base. There's options. That's a different video. But for this one, a big win for the Twins, who now have 61 wins, 61 and 38. A big win over the Yankees. Hopefully we can take one more. Uh, you know, that's, of course, what's necessary. The Indians just need to lose to the Blue Jays. They'll get a hard schedule at some point, but uh, a big win for us tonight. That's what's important. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the energy that I bring to these videos, but uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, it was a great game, and now we just got to move that into tomorrow, get another one of these games. Lots of home runs, lots of runs, lots of productivity. That's what we need. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like if you guys did enjoy the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click above my head, right above here, right somewhere. Uh, if you missed yesterday's game review, it was a good one uh, with the walk-off. So make sure to check that out. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow for another one. Peace out.